What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, Sunday evening, January 24th, 2021 is the date today, about 7.15 p.m. West Coast time. And uh, taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe here, shows the uh, 2.8 latest earthquake out here around the fracking state of Oklahoma, northern Oklahoma above the uh, Oklahoma City area. Also some earthquake activity ramping up around the Alaska area and areas uh, around the Pacific Plate. We'll go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Activity still on the uptick here between Antarctica and the South American tip here. Drake Passage near the Scotia Sea area, right specifically on this plate boundary. We've seen uh, quite a bit of aftershock activity following that 7.0. Originally 7.3 got downgraded to 7.0, and I think originally, or furthermore, it got downgraded to a 6.9. But uh, it was kind of bouncing all over the place there for a little bit. But uh, still, nonetheless, a large earthquake striking down there. And many, many aftershocks following that uh, specific earthquake there in question. Quite a few fours and uh, some fives in there as well. It's allowed for a little bit of uh, activity up the uh, west coast area uh, to ramp up a little bit. Also some earthquake swarming going on there at Yellowstone National Park immediately following that 7.0. It only lasted oh, for just a short time. I'll go ahead and see if I can find a, uh, a graph that's going to let me click on it. You can see that activity up here. This is pretty much right around the uh, 7.0 time frame. Uh, just a swarm of uh, oh, probably about 20 or 30 earthquakes there in the Yellowstone National Park region in the northwest corner of the park. But since then, uh, over the last uh, at least 12 hours or so, it's been relatively quiet. No uptick in swarming uh, to report there at Yellowstone National Park. <coughs> and uh, taking a look here at the activity over here around the uh, Indonesia area. And through New Zealand, New Zealand showing a little bit of activity on the ramp up. 5.2 struck there. Uh, near, uh, what is that, Rotor Rotorur? Is that correct? If, <laughs> if that is not correct, please correct me. I have no problem with being corrected. Pretty, uh, pretty moderate sized quake there. Uh, looks like quite a few folks felt it. Reported feeling the, uh, the shaking from this earthquake that struck at about 6.5 kilometers downstream. Um, let's see what you got for uh, re reports here. Yeah, quite a few people reported some moderate shaking there in that uh, region there. But uh, hold on one second here. Let's go back here, out of here, and back out one quick, real quick here. Okay, we'll do this. There we go. Uh, and that was kind of following. If you take a look at that, there was probably about a oh, 20 minutes or so, maybe 15 minutes or so, uh, prior shaker of 4.6 struck um, prior to that 5.2. But even prior to that, there was a much deeper earthquake, really deep, uh, 197 kilometers there, southwest of that region by about uh, oh, 150 miles or so, 4.2 struck within this vicinity so some uh, potential large-scale movement there on the uh, near future I guess and even prior to that there was that 5.8 that kind of struck down here triggering the uh, activity that we're seeing up here to the north not for sh not for certain if we're out of the woods here for uh, earthquake activity we kind of seen this on the upswing here uh, so it's hard to say if we're gonna you know just close the book on this or not kind of an area to keep a close eye on there in new zealand around the tonga fiji islands area some uh, more deep movement 5.2 near fiji at about 326 kilometers uh, below the surface there for that specific earthquake and also some more movement up here around the philippines islands area and uh, southward into the uh, indonesia area and also papua new guinea region no major movement to uh, to report there in that region, but uh, definitely some activity taking place there. 
So some oddball earthquake activity following that 7.0 down here. You know, a little bit, a uh, little bit of movement in, a, in an area that we're, we haven't seen a lot of earthquake activity can ultimately affect, uh, you know, areas around the globe. You know, these plates are always moving, and uh, one plate, no doubt, affects uh, areas uh, around the globe. It could be uh, thousands of miles away. Go ahead and zoom in to the west coast here real quick, folks, and do a recap of uh, magnitudes below 2.5 on the threshold there. You can see fracking uh, earthquakes out there around Stillwater and Ended areas of Oklahoma. <clears throat> I'm sure if we zoomed in on them, you would see some fracking operations. No need to uh, zoom in. Uh, some activity down south into Southern Cal. Not a whole lot. Pretty quiet, pretty mellow. As far as uh, below 2.5 goes, you did see an increase in earthquake activity up here in Nevada. A uh, couple twos and whatnot uh, kicking off there, uh, shaking the desert out there. Also into parts of Northern California, to south of Mount Shasta, not specifically at Mount Shasta, but about 10-15 uh, miles away. Small little earthquake there near McLeod. You can see that 2.6 striking at about two, uh, 6 kilometers below the surface. Also another uh, one here southeast of Redding, just a little microquake. Uh, the big picture out here along the west coast is going to be this trimmer map out here that I'm going to show you. We're looking at some major uptick in activity along the Cascadia with 472 earthquakes or uh, epicenters of tremor being reported along the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, some big time movement there in the northern cow stretching into the southern part of the Cascadia which pretty much ends right about there underneath the North American plate. So it's, subduct it's uh, moving or at least the tremor is uh, it's being picked up pretty, to me it looks like it's south of that area, or at least on the southern area of the Cascadia subduction zone. I mean, it doesn't go, historically it does not go too much further, and there's really no need for it to go much further, uh, because we're not looking at a subduction area down here uh, into the central part of Sacramento Valley. So to see it stretch this far down, kind of kind of got me uh, wondering what's going on there. Also in the southern Oregon and also up in Washington as well, seeing some uh, some pretty good movement along the Cascadia subduction zone. What does that mean? Well, we'll have to see. Definitely some activity picking up uh, today. And you can look at the scale here over the last uh, 10 years or so. 2020 was pretty uh, well amped up for a trimmer. Looks like 2021 is going to be uh, about the same there. Looking at uh, some uptick for sure in that region of the West Coast. Pretty big uh, storm coming out here to the West Coast starting Tuesday night. Looking at about three to four inches of rainfall for my area. I'm not for sure how that's going to affect my uh, power, especially with some strong winds. And, uh, you know, there is a potential for uh, <clears throat> some power outages out here. But, man, do we need the rain. We definitely need the rain out here. All right, folks, we're going to jump off here. I think that's about it. Uh, just going to do, just wanted to do a quick update video recap. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, Monday, right? Tomorrow is Monday. We will uh, talk to you guys tomorrow sometime. Please stay safe out there. And as always, uh, have a great night. Peace out.